So this will be so this will be a quick overview of Bayes' theorem, only briefly. Uh, Bayes' theorem, of course, is the sort of foundation of modern probability theory. Um, quickly, uh, just to clarify this, this means probability of B given A, uh, which means probability that B will occur given that A, or given the knowledge that A has already occurred. Um, this type of probability is conditional, not independent, which is very important because um, conditional probability uh, means the separate events are uh, affected uh, by each other, if you will, independent. Obviously, different events are independent and it's much easier to work with. So straight away, let's work with an example. So we consider the events A and B. A, um, say there is a branch on the road. Um, and B, uh, say I have a bicycle accident. Uh, we're going to let probability of A equal 0 0.2. Uh, the probability that I have a bicycle accident B equal 0 0.1. And we'll let probability of B given A equal 0 0.3. So if A and B are not independent, then the probability of the intersection a intersect B um, is given in the following way. Uh, probability A intersect B equals probability of A multiplied by the probability of B given A. Let me quickly sort of outline the question. Okay. Um, of course, we can write uh, that the probability of A intersect B is also equal to the probability of B um, multiplied by the uh, probability of A given B. So, if we equate these two, uh, then we end up with probability of B uh, times the probability of A given B. Uh, it is actually equal to probability of A, uh, probability of B given A. Um, now, in the question, we're given the probability of B given A, um, but say I want to find the probability of A given B. Uh, you know, given that I've had a bicycle accident, what's the probability it was caused by a branch? So how do I find out <coughs> uh, probability of A given B? Well, if I rearrange the uh, equation, or should I say I divide throughout by probability B, uh, then I have it in the form probability A given B equals probability of A uh, multiplied by probability of B given A, uh, divided by probability of B. And funnily enough, this is actually the derivation, or <laughs> I should say derivation, um, this is how we get to uh, Bayes' theorem. And this is actually a form of Bayes' theorem here. So, quickly putting in some values from the question. Um, we substitute in. Um, substitute 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1 there. And by this theorem here, we're actually able to find probability of A given B, which, as you can see, is um, really quite handy and useful. So now I'm going to quickly outline Bayes' theorem.
So Bayes' theorem in the general form, not the form that you just saw, uh, we write as follows. So we suppose um, to A1, A2, all the way up to An are mutually exclusive events. Uh, and that the union of these events is the entire sample space, so these are all possible events. Then For any other event B, we can write the following, which is Bayes' theorem, that the probability of, say, AI, given probability of B, is equal to the probability of AI times by the probability of B given that AI has happened, all divided throughout by the probability of B. It's very simple and as you can see here, <coughs> uh, a very easily uh, applied theorem and the more general form for all, um, for all AI is written as follows. And we just write it throughout for all, all the A's that we have. So probability of A1. So when you have more than one uh, set of events here, then make sure to include them all. And we do that for A2 and so on, so on, all the way up to the final AN. Probability AN, uh, probability of B given, B given AN. Thank you for watching.